around here are so much, I don't want to say better because people are not good or bad or better than others, but people are so much more respectful on this side of the internet than some areas of the internet that I've gotten glimpses into. And so, yeah, you, you, thank you for reminding me of that because that is something that I need to be grateful for and I need to be mindful of in these moments where I'm like, oh, YouTube is a mean place and the internet's a mean place and I just want to leave it all. Because it's actually, um, I exist on probably the nice, some of the, one of the nicest corners of it. Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan slash Bambi and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. In today's video, we are going to be talking about, it's a very, very quick one, voiceover, as you do, as a busy mother. My um, kids are back at school next week, so videos will be back to normal, if not more videos. So that's very exciting. Any all, I am making a video to let you guys know that I am a fool. No, I'm joking. I made a comment yesterday when someone had said in my live stream that Tally Leash was returning to YouTube. And obviously, I had seen the community post and I was like, you know what? She's returned. She's had a break. We are not perfect. None of us are perfect. And um, so I thought to myself, I'm, I'm really not going to go there with her. You know, I've said my piece. She said hers. There's no point beating a dead horse, Right. And I still maybe 60% stand by that, right? But the reason why I'm making this video is because I was sent an unlisted uh, BAP or a return to YouTube Patreon live exclusive video. Okay, I was sent that link. I will not be putting any clips um, of that video in this video because again, it is a Patreon exclusive. They did, uh, well, Alicia and one of their, one of her guests did say that they kept talking about it going public and leaks and all this stuff. So I don't, again, I don't want to put any clips of that in my video. Um, but I just want to talk on a couple of like points from this video because obviously Alicia's had time off the internet. I have not obviously watched anything about her, seen anything about her. I've seen tweets here and there. I know some people have been saying that some people are going too far. Um, you know, people need to get over it, so on and so forth. Um, and that's a couple of the things I want to address in this video. It's going to be a quick one because I know that um, Hello Leash is coming back on Tuesday. We're going to get a, a live video. Um, some more things are coming out on that day. So, she probably will answer some questions that I might have, but I just wanted to quickly just put this out because um, I found it so interesting because there are some things in there that I actually just want to acknowledge um, from Alicia, um, how Alicia, I want to acknowledge these things. I want her to know, not that she's going to watch my video, I highly doubt it, but I want her to know that I do acknowledge Kukla, back inside, Kukla, Kukla, inside. My dog's going out. Anyway, what I will say, right, what I think about with this situation is there are bits and pieces of this live stream that I've just watched. Um, so you're going to just get raw thoughts here. There is some things that, you know, she does need to know that people do see in here. Now that if she has been misdiagnosed or undiagnosed for X amount of years, I'm not entirely sure how old... Holly Leash is, um, but I would say that she's probably around my age, maybe slightly younger. I'm, a, I'm about to turn 30. Um, her speaking about autism and saying that people are not believing her um, and speaking about cosplay and all those sorts of things, I have to come from that from a person where I have been misdiagnosed for 29 years um, and I am now you know, diagnosed and not official diagnosis. I have diagnosis from two psychiatrists, but we know that March of this year, I will be getting my official diagnosis. And we know that that is a big long road. And I have expressed that time and time again. And I have thought that time and time again, that, 
you know, maybe she is on a very long journey, which is very, very common. A lot of us have, you know, a long, long, long journey of this stuff. Um, so I will say that, okay, this is a situation where I feel like, okay, if you are having miscommunications with people and they're not understanding where you're coming from, I get that. it, hundred percent, because I've She's dealt too with outgoing. that myself. She's not outgoing Being enough, undiagnosed with autism, if she is autistic, I don't want to you say see, whether she is or like, she isn't. I'm going got on to a point the where presumption that she has done the research herself. Um, and I spoke with medical and mental professionals and has got herself on that road. And I'm going to sit there and think that at the time of this live, this video and this live stream that I'm currently watching right now, um, that that is something that she is doing. So when she has miscommunications with people, you have to give her some sort of grace for that because I have that. I have miscommunications with people and feel a certain way and things happen and so on and so forth. So you have to give her that. And I do give her that. So when she she said something in her live stream today, she said, you know, some things are, I might come across as argumentative, but I'm not. I'm literally trying to express something. And when I heard her say that, she's like, I'm trying to understand, I'm trying to um, uh, clarify something. And I was like, I get that. And my husband has said the same thing to me. Like, you just being argumentative. Why Who's are you that? arguing? She's not funny enough. And She's too I'm outgoing. Like, She's not outgoing no, enough. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do but that. So I get that. The fan. You see, but, like, it got no, to I don't want this but to be a so but. Dismiss everything I just said. I want this to be a but, as in, look at the other side for a second. I did see moments in this live stream where I saw a very snarky, nasty side to... to Alicia, um, she would, she had someone on there who was interviewing um, and he was talking about, you know, things he'd been through and how he was removed from a Patreon of another creator because he was friends with these people, so on and so forth. So that there was like, whoa. So what is going on? What is the other side? Give us the other side which I'm hoping for is coming on Tuesday. But I also see the other side where it's like, okay, Holly Leash says she cultivated toxic people in her community. She, she grew a toxic community, but she's not acknowledging that. She's not acknowledging that, that how can you make a toxic community if you're not promoting or perpetuating toxic content very i think the thing is with hello leash is maybe she wasn't such a social justice warrior she did that to please people and and and, 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 and don't yell at me and say she well she is blah, blah blah what are you saying what i'm saying is i think that she put such a heavy rain on everything on her community and some of it maybe she didn't necessarily could keep up with you know and like the harry potter thing the harry potter situation again i can't speak to everything that everyone went through because i feel like there's bits and pieces coming out and i spoke to the i spoke to the girls i interviewed them go watch that video and i did a really really great interview and they were really really amazing and they were honest with me and i heard their feelings that i heard how hurt they were and Hearing this live stream today, I can see just more nastiness come out of Alicia. But at the same time, she's like, well, have you seen this and this and this? And no, we haven't. And we're hoping to hear that from you. But a bit more um, acknowledgement would be nice than opposed to you... Um, blaming i feel like there was a lot of blame and there was a lot of excusing saying well someone said i'll have anxiety and you would just shove that off completely and then start talking about your mental disorders and autism and autism autism is not a mental disorder it's a disability and if you have said disability 
reach out to me because we're both going through the same thing right now and we could be a support to each other. But just, I think the thing that she might struggle with is the same thing that Gabby Hanna struggles with, which is the thought process is different to certain people that they have communications with, which ends, which is going to end badly. I mean, if, if you're having a conversation with someone that doesn't understand that you're getting, you're having a meltdown or an autis autistic meltdown or something like that, or you don't, you don't express like the right way and they don't know, then you end up having this miscommunication that just goes on and on and on. And this could be partially that, that Hello Leash maybe might not be understanding. And that's not an insult. That's not an insult. That comes from me understanding where she's coming from. But in saying that, there is some pieces of the story in this situation where she's very much blaming and attacking and we see a lot of that with Gabby Hanna. And I feel like we're seeing a lot of that with Hallie Leash right now. And she's come, she says she's coming back and she's, you know, wants to cultivate a different community and a different environment and be more free with her things and things like that, not care what people think. And I think that's amazing. I think that is amazing because I was the same way. It, it, some people have this, this tendency to be people pleasers when they don't really understand or know themselves, which again, is not an insult. I'm 29 years old and I figured this out four or five months ago. So I get where she's coming from. I just feel that coming back like this, you can come back and clear your name and speak on things. I get it. And I get being snarky and I get calling someone a bitch or whatever else. Like, I've done that. I get it. I'm not dissing it. What I'm saying is I need to shut up. No, what I'm saying is just come back, correct what you need to correct. But please be careful what you say because the word of what you're saying right now does come off as deflection, projection, and I hate saying those words on YouTube, but it really reminds me of that. And I don't wanna disrespect the Patreon Live any more than I already did by watching it, by putting it in this video, because I do not wanna get a copyright strike. But she does talk about a lot of things and a lot of things are addressed and there are a lot of questions raised. And I think we all have questions. And I think that if, if if this thing comes out on Tuesday, it'll be Wednesday here in Australia. But if it comes out on Tuesday and, you know, there's more things to discuss, more questions answered, any apologies I owe to Alicia, I'm happy to do. But I just feel like hopefully she'll see this and just think, okay, maybe my emotion came too strong in that and I need to understand where, understand where some people are coming from. Because she does say in this life, if you do not like me, if you do not you know, enjoy me, don't watch me. And I understand that mentality because I say that to people myself. Yeah, I mean, don't watch me. But at the same time, when you are on the internet, people are allowed to provide commentary, social commentary, things like that. The same way that you cultivated this said toxic audience of discussing certain creators to a rather long ex extent but i understand that she's probably not going to be doing that anymore moving on with her content but i just i don't know i'm sitting here it's night time here i'm relaxing i'm chilling and i'm listening to this and i just had so many thoughts and i just wanted to put them together and if this just comes off as a jumbled mess it's because it's hot and i'm tired and i just really wanted to just let's just know what i think um let me know what you guys think down below and if you think i'm a hypocrite for making this video when i said that i wouldn't i'm sorry but i also had a dm conversation with emily artful um, about some of the questions i had so if you guys want that let me know down below subscribe all those sorts of things but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it remember to like subscribe send a pigeon keep the same energy and i will see you guys very very soon Mwah. bye